The Rock versus Tyrese. Dwayne Johnson opened up about the Fast and Furious feud last night on live TV. Have you and Tyrese talked since he called you out on Instagram after you agreed to do your own Fast and Furious spinoff? The answer is no. No, we haven't. Uh, we haven't talked at all. And you know that whole thing with Tyrese was. It was pretty disappointing um, because I'd been friends with Tyrese for a very long time. To me, there's no need to have a conversation. He had voiced his opinion a lot on social media, <laughs> and he I, apparently he was going through some stuff too um, in his personal life. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Tyrese broke down in November during his contentious custody battle over his 10-year-old daughter, and he defended Fast co-star Vin Diesel when The Rock called him out. A Apparently for a lack of professionalism. This brother right here, no one will ever know what I know about how hard Ben works behind the scenes. I will call you guys later and tell you everything. A source tells ET Today, don't expect to see The Rock working with Tyrese or Vin anytime soon. But another source tells us it's possible down the road if a reunion might feel like a big event. Life's too short and work is too important. Uh, excuse my language, work with so I refuse to do that. Meanwhile, The Rock did just reveal to E.T. who's joining the franchise. Just signed Idris Elba. Yeah, he's gonna be the bad guy, He's gonna he? be the bad guy in a... And The Rock's social media muscle is making news today. Forbes is reporting that starting with his latest film, Skyscraper, which is in theaters now, The Rock is insisting on a separate seven-figure social media fee with every movie. We were there as The Rock streams Skyscraper's world premiere. The 46-year-old actor has a staggering 110 million followers on Instagram.